cancer prevention, the role of vitamin E succinate. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, uh, a fact that's not known nearly as well as it should be is the fact that vitamin E succinate, not other forms of vitamin E, but vitamin E succinate, is the most effective anti-cancer form of vitamin E. And so if you're taking a multiple vitamin, it should contain 400 IUs of vitamin E succinate, at least that's my opinion. And in our cancer patients, I usually give them even higher doses of vitamin E as part of the adjunct of nutritional management of cancer and also to prevent cancer recurrence. So how, how is vitamin E succinate unique compared to other forms of vitamin E? Well, here's what it's been shown to do. Uh, and with respect to prostate cancer, it's been shown to encourage existing prostate cancer cells to actually commit suicide. We call that programmed cell death. It's also been shown to inhibit the rate at which prostate cancer cells can divide. It also blocks what are called the androgen receptors. Prostate cancer cells are very sensitive to testosterone, as an example. But vitamin E succinate can block the receptors so the testosterone can't get into the cell or stimulate the cell to divide. It's also been shown to help cancer cells reestablish the pathways through which they commit suicide or program cell death. It's a bit complicated, but you know, it, this is a very unique molecule. There, you, don't have, you don't have drugs that can show these kinds of properties. Other forms of vitamin E don't do this either. With respect to breast cancer cells, all we see is that when, when, when cancer forms, uh, very often the death receptors, these are receptors on the cell surface, become very unresponsive. So normally if a cell gets infected with a virus or something, you know, the immune cells can come and stimulate those death receptors and tell the cell to commit suicide. Cancer cells have those death receptors, but they desensitize them. So it's very hard for the immune cells to kill the cells because they've turned off their death receptors. Vitamin E succinate has been shown to sort of reactivate the death receptors on cancer cells. The studies, most of them have been done with breast cancer cell lines, so that you can, you can stimulate the cancer cell to die from the outside in, if you will. It's also been shown to tone down these receptors on the cell surface. So in about 40% of breast cancer cases, you have on the cell surface of the breast cancer cell a whole bunch of these receptors. They're called epidermal growth factor receptors. And women that have more of those are more prone to breast cancer because these receptors sort of bump into each other. They send a signal into the cell telling the cell to divide like mad. Vitamin E has been shown to be one of the compounds that can sort of to silence those receptors, slowing down the rate of cell division. Vitamin E succinate has also been shown to help block the formation of new blood vessels around tumors so they can't get the nutrients they need to form larger colonies and metastasize. You know, they're trying to make drugs that can do these kinds of things. Other experimental uh, evidence that we have shows with other types of cancer cells, it encourages them to, to commit suicide, it inhibits the replication rate, so my recommendation is, is that because there's no vitamin E succinate in food, you have to get some every day from a high potency multiple vitamin. So I like a high potency multiple vitamin to be enriched with antioxidants, vitamin C 1000 milligrams, vitamin E succinate 400 IUs, vitamin A 2500 IUs, beta carotene 15,000 international units, bioflavonoids 50 milligrams, lycopene powder 6 milligrams, a B50 complex, vitamin D 1000 IUs, calcium 500 milligrams, magnesium 200 milligrams, and selenium 200 micrograms. That's what I take every day. Those nutrients really work synergistically to help reduce risk of cancer and reduce risk of other degenerative diseases. But to really understand the vitamin E succinate story, click on the link below, you'll see my review article on vitamin E succinate with respect to cancer prevention. I think you'll find it fascinating. The, and all the scientific references are there, so you'll see you're getting only sound evidence-based information from me. Now at machinohealth.com, you can see my other review papers on other subjects. Uh, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars. You'll see other downloads and videos I've created. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll see you're getting sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.